Hi, this is Logan from Logan'sRunThePodcast.com, and this is another one of my video tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at local recordings. A local recording is a backup to a main audio recording that you might have done on TalkShoe or on any other network. What happens is sometimes if there might be a catastrophic failure of the servers, you might have hit the wrong button, you might have made a mistake of some sort or another, and your show does not show up on the main server, a local recording enables that you can go in and upload that in place of it. Now a lot of times people also use local recordings because sometimes it just has a better sound quality than the local than the regular recordings on TalkShoe and other networks. Now there's a number of different methods you can use for local recording. We're going to talk today about two of them and that is Xlight and VMotion. Both of them have built-in record features and to enable you to do some local recording. Now every time I do my show, I always, the very first thing I do is I use the local recording on Xlight to ensure that I have a backup copy in case anything were to go wrong. And what we see here is we have a number of different buttons right above the keypad and one of them is record. Just by hitting that record and you can see it turns red there, it is now recording. It's just that simple. Now either when I click this button and turn it off or if I were to hang up, that would automatically process it and store it on my hard drive for later on use. Up here at the top, any options. It tells you right down here at the bottom where your recorded calls are normally stored. Normally they're stored on your main computer on your C drive. They're normally stored in the My Documents folder under Xlight. Now you can change wherever you, you can change it to another place if you want. You can say store it on your hard drive. But that's the best place for me because I can now go and find it at all times. And I'll show you that in a little bit as we go on with this episode. Now the other feature you have is you have VMotion. And VMotion also has its own record feature. What you have is you have all your file buttons, your view, your list, your tools. You have a specific button up here for recorder. Normally I don't have mine turned on because I don't like using VMotion for it. Because I don't see a need of having two or three local recordings. But what you can do is you can hit the enable record button there, record shared music, and then I also have down record my voice and record my partner's voice. So that way if you were to, when you're recording, it will record any music that you play. If you're playing an audio clip here in the background, it records my own voice and any other voices that come in over the input. It's a real simple procedure, and once again, I'll show you where to find that in a moment. But you can see down at the bottom here that it also tells you how long your recordings are going on. Now, once you're done, we want to hit our end recording here. We've stopped the recording, and when you do it with via motion, whenever you stop the recording, it pops up this window here. You can go up to the top, and you can change your file name. We're going to put down test run for that. And down at the bottom down here, it gives you a chance where you can save the recording or dis discard it. We're going to save it today. And it is now saved, and I'll show you where it is in just a moment. To go find your recordings, you want to go up to, in my case, my document folders. You can also find it, like I said, on your C drive. And we have it in the My Documents folder here. Under here, we're first going to look at Xlight. There's an Xlight folder down below and you just go right into that and it pulls up all of your different local recordings you've done in the past. Now what it does is it pulls it up and it does it in a very interesting format. It does the last two digits of the year. So in this case, 2010 is 10, 02 for February, and then 28th for Sunday the 28th. It also tells you basically the time it started. In my case, it started at 11.35 a.m. So here you have the recording. An interesting note here also is that it formats in a WAV format. It's not an MP3 format. Now this is good if you want to use a program like Levelator, which I do have a training video on Logan'sRunThePodcast.com and TalkShoeSupport.com teaching you how to use Levelator, which is a program that levels out all the audio in a, in a broadcast. You can use, just put it straight on a Levelator and level it out. Or if you want to make it into an MP3 format, you can go in, take it in and uh, import it into, say, Audacity, and then export it as an MP3 format. But just be advised that it does come out initially as a WAV format. Now we want to go back out. 
we want to look for VMotion. VMotion has a folder here called VMotion Records. And by clicking on here, once again, you see all of the different VMotion files here. Now it exports as a VEA file. It's an audio file. I normally open it up with my Windows Media Player. And right up here, we see the test run that we did here. Well, that is using VMotion and using Xlight as a local recording. This is Logan, and all of my training vi video tutorials are available at logansrunthepodcast.com and also at talkshoesupport.com. Well, until next time, have a great day.